Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, I let you know that Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, KB5050081, in the release preview channel. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll link down below in the end screen if you'd like more info, one of the two new features mentioned in the change log for the update is a new calendar with Microsoft saying you can stay informed and informed with the new calendar. Now, I thought that was initially going to be part of the new Outlook, which is the second new feature that's going to be rolling out with that update, where Microsoft is going to be force installing the new Outlook on Windows 10, as I've mentioned. Go check that video out. It'll give you all the information you'll need. But it seems that I wasn't correct. And the new calendar is actually an update to the taskbar calendar and this was spotted over on x by phantom of earth and that's just an image of more or less what this is going to look like so microsoft had mentioned that you can see the weather forecast as we can see you can learn about the holidays in this case valentine's day coming up in february and obviously yet to the top we've got um, some roses and hearts obviously depicting the up and coming valentine's day so that's more or less what this feature is all, all about. Microsoft is adding a bit of eye candy and cosmetics uh, into the actual taskbar calendar. And this is looking very similar to what we see in the taskbar search with the search highlights where you get that little animation. And if you click on it, you can see in your search, you know, um, the highlight of the day where it gives you information regarding that actual animation in the taskbar search so this looking very similar to what that is all about and something else that was also spotted is that you can also toggle some of uh, the content off in settings so yeah you've got feature holiday and events based on your system location you can toggle that off holiday illustration and weather so all of those three new additions if we head back the little animation at the top the weather and the holiday event all of that can be toggled off thankfully um, because I don't think this is something I would actually use and I don't have calendar installed on my system that's something I long since uninstalled um, from Windows 10 and Windows 11 now just on a side note here as mentioned on the channel we have just a couple of months left of support before Microsoft um, end support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October later this year and it begs me to ask the question why is Microsoft f focusing on adding little tweaks and adjustments into Windows 10 when the end of support is so near and one reason for that could be that Microsoft isn't actually going to end support which I've said for quite a few months although Microsoft has said that support will end in October I say otherwise I don't think it would because there's too much market share and why would they start introducing little cosmetics and bits of eye candy into the OS just before it's going to end support? So that's kind of a question that's hanging. And something else I just want to say regarding this tweak and adjustment, I feel it's kind of unnecessary. And I think Microsoft should be focusing on fixing real issues in Windows, especially Windows 11 24H2, then trying to update a operating system with a couple of months left of support with a bit of eye candy and cosmetics because they are desperately as i've been posting trying to get users over on to windows 11 and i'll leave a playlist in the end screen of this video about the end of windows 10 if you'd like more info because they are desperately trying to get windows 10 users over to windows 11 so i would think that if they were really sincere about ending support in october they wouldn't be focusing on eye candy in windows 10 They'd be trying to really stabilize Windows 11 so it could entice more users over into the OS um, because obviously 24H2 has been quite a disaster when it comes to known issues and bugs and so on. But nonetheless, that's it. Um, just wanted to put it out there that um, there is a new taskbar calendar coming with the next optional update and that will show you the weather forecast and you can learn about the holidays and so on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.